Symmetry allows you to work on multiple sides of the model at the same time to get a symmetrical effect. The default symmetry is on the X axis and to access it, simply press X on your keyboard. Similarly, to turn it off, also press X. Here's my move brush without symmetry versus with. Symmetry helps you make great progress on your model in half the time. To access your symmetry options, go to transform. And right here in this tab, we see activate symmetry. This is also where you can turn it on and off. And you can even change the axis with which it's been symmetrical. Let me show you on a sphere. This is what symmetry on the X looks like on the sphere. However, if I turn on Y, now it's vertical symmetry. And let's see what Z does. Check the back, there it is. Here's a fun fact. You can actually turn on any combination of these at the same time. As you hover over your model, you're going to see your main cursor, which is the one with the big circle around it. The extra little squares are going to show you your symmetry. This is how I check to make sure that my symmetry is on. I just try to find those little squares. Radial symmetry allows you to do symmetry in a round pattern with as many different points of symmetry as you'd like. Let's turn that on by clicking this R button and let's see what that does. Look at that. Changing the axis will change the axis that the radial symmetry is active in. Like so. Changing the radial count affects how many different cursor points you're going to get. The higher the number, the more cursor points. So let's see four. That's what four looks like. Versus 53. <laughs> you can get some very cool effects. Keep in mind that for the best effects, you're going to want your model to be symmetrical if you're going to use symmetry. For example, if I turn off symmetry and I change one side of the face, let's make it nice and round, and I turn the symmetry on again, you'll notice that it's not affecting both sides quite the same. That's because it measures the symmetry from the center of the world. If you want to have a nice asymmetrical model like this, and you want to still be able to use symmetry, you can use posable symmetry. I'm going to undo all of these changes I made to the face first, and I'm going to click Use Posable Symmetry. Now it's stored the symmetry that I currently have. If I come in here and I expand one side of the face again, let's use the Demian Standard this time, and I try to use symmetry, we'll see that as I hover, it's affecting the same polygons on the other side evenly. Like so. That's because my mesh was already symmetrical before, so it's stored which vertice corresponds to which vertice on both sides. So even though both sides are not the same, it still acts as if they were. One thing that's very important with symmetry is to constantly check if it's on, especially if you've been turning it off. Sometimes I'll work for ages on one side of the model, only to realize that, whoops, I didn't have symmetry on, and now the other side looks really bad. The option I like to use to fix this problem is mirror and weld. What mirror and weld does is it will copy one side of your model over to the other side and weld it down the center. To do so, let's go to the geometry tab and find modify topology. Mirror and weld is right here. However, it doesn't like subdivision levels, so be careful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my lower subdivision levels to turn it into just one and then hit mirror and weld. And there we have it. We've welded on both sides, looks good. Let's check the polyframe. Solid. Keep in mind the mirror and weld always welds from our left to our right. If I wanted the pudgy side to be welded, this is what I would do. I would go to deformation and hit mirror. See these little X, Y, Z buttons? This will decide in which direction you're mirroring. Hit that, and now it's just flipped it without welding down the middle. Back to geometry, mirror and weld, and there we have it, always from our left to our right. Most symmetry is calculated from the center of the project. If you ever want to see the center, hit floor. 
right here and that will turn on the floor and it'll show you where the center is right there. If you ever want to move something away from the center and make it asymmetrical by nature by just having it in a different location, simply go to transform. Turn off Visible Symmetry Center and turn on LSIM Local Symmetry instead. I'll use my gizmo to move it out of the way. And now I'm going to use my move brush and press X for Symmetry to try using Symmetry. That's the beauty of Local Symmetry. Here is the same example without Local Symmetry on. So I'm going to put it back. Turn that off. Turn this back on. Move it. And here it is without local symmetry. Notice how the other side of the cursor is all the way floating somewhere. Okay, because it's using the center of the project still as my symmetry points. So that's everything you need to know about symmetry as you get started. I hope this tutorial helps.